Before we begin creating the geometry for our project, we must first create a 2D design file to store the geometry into. So in this exercise, you're going to learn how to select a workspace and work set and how to create a 2D design file. So let's begin. To start the software, locate the Open Roads Designer Connect Edition icon on your desktop. Double click on the icon to launch the software. If you do not have an Open Roads Designer icon on your desktop, to start the software, all you simply need to do is go down to the Windows Start button and navigate down to the Open Roads folder and click on Open Roads Designer Connect Edition 2020 Release 2 to start the software. Once the software is open, you'll be taken to the main work page. And from here, what we want to do is we want to make sure we set the proper workspace and the proper work set. The workspace and the work set define standards that are used by the software. And for this particular training class, they've already been delivered with the software. So to set the workspace, we're going to go up to the top of the screen here, select the Training and Examples workspace, and then come over to the right and select the Training Imperial work set. You can think of the workspace as your organizational standards, and you can think of the work set as being your project related standards. To create a new 2D design file, you want to go and click on the New File button. From here, that will bring up the new dialog box. Navigate to where you've extracted the training files. In this particular case, I'm using the Bentley Training folder and Quick Start for Civil Geometry. So I'm going to double click on that. You'll see there's some existing files already here that we'll be using throughout the course. And what we want to do is we want to create a brand new file called Geometry. So down here in the lower portion of the screen, in the file name field, simply key in Geometry. Now Geometry needs to be created in a 2D file. So in order to make sure that it's 2D, you need to make sure you're using the proper seed file. So if you navigate down to the lower field here where it says Seed, and scroll over to the right, you'll see that the default seed file that we're going to be using is called seed 2 d imperial trainingdgn This is important because this is going to set the working units as well as define if the file is going to be 2D or 3D. Once you do that, you can simply click on Save and the file will be created. Once the file is created, it will open and you will be presented with the main screen. Now that you know how to create a new file, in the next lesson we'll take a look at reviewing the interface. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.